You exist within a grand, mathematically generated illusion, and you yourself are a mathematical being. You see, mathematics doesn't just describe reality. You and your world is literally made of mathematics. It is the code, the essence of this experience that you are having right now. And once you understand this, you will find the secrets of reality and begin to liberate yourself from the material realm. You will be as one who walks out from a dark cave to behold the light for the first time. We have rigorous philosophical arguments, mathematics, and proofs to show this, and these will be coming in due time. But in the beginning, let's be honest, how many people are going to watch that? This world is in a state where those in it have the attention spans of a gnat, and we have found ourselves in the situation where we must condense a theory of the universe, the details of which would fill libraries, into the temporal space of a three-minute Facebook or YouTube video. But alas, this is a world where Donald Trump is President of the United States, so how could we expect any less? So what follows are examples that are meant to give you an intuition into the mathematical nature of reality. Look around you at all the tables and the chairs, the plants and the animals, the trees and the birds. At first glance, these might not seem mathematical, but that's because you have fallen under the spell of the human senses. You see, the senses have evolved not to show you the truth of reality, but to allow you to survive on this planet. Take the eyes, for example. Look at all the colors around you. Colors help to differentiate one thing from another. But what is color? Color is light. That's all it is. And when you're in a dark room, there is no color because there is no light. The only difference between one color and another, red and violet, is the frequency of the light. To talk about frequency is to talk about waves. Frequency is the number of times a wave oscillates per unit time. Now think carefully on what this really means. Frequency is nothing but information. It is a number. And the only thing that differentiates red from violet and blue from green is its frequency, its number. So an apple looks red because light strikes the apple and the apple absorbs every frequency of visible light except for that of red. And so since the red light is not absorbed, that light strikes your eye and you see the apple as red. But remember, red is just a frequency, a number, information. But you experience that number as red. So when you look around at the red apple on the brown table next to the silver spoon and the yellow flower, you are simply looking at different values of information, different numbers. You exist within a complex of information, a field of numbers. You are immersed in code just like a computer simulation. But your physical senses have evolved such that you experience this code as color. You are swimming in an ocean of numbers. Take a minute to look around you right now at all of the colors in the room. They are all simply different frequencies, different numbers. Take the ear as another example. The difference between one sound and another is frequency. The pluck of one guitar string compared to the other? A vibration at a different frequency. When you listen to music, you are listening to a grand pattern of frequencies. And again, this is just a number. A musical symphony is a vibrational complex which is nothing but an information field that your mind experiences through your ears as music. If your senses had evolved in a different way, you would experience this information field as something completely different. The information wouldn't change, but your experience of it would change. All it is, in itself, is number, information, frequency. But you experience it as music due to the configuration of your senses. Some psychedelic drugs can actually cause people to see sound or hear color. Imagine seeing music. Of course, the music didn't change, the information didn't change, but your subjective experience of that information is what changed. 
And the fact that you can experience sound as color and color as music shows that your experience of these things is an illusion based on the configuration of your senses, the brain, and mental states. Everything is made up of waves and frequency. Color is frequency. Sounds and music are frequency. Even matter is transformed frequency. Everything is energy. Everything is frequency. Everything is number. These are all the same concepts, just from a different perspective. The great philosopher Pythagoras, who was the founder of a secret society that taught the hidden mysteries of reality, said, Numbers rule the universe. All is number. There is geometry in the humming of the strings. There is music in the spacing of the spheres. Let's switch gears for a minute. And let's say that you want to bake a cake. So first you walk over to the cupboard to get the ingredients. Walking over is simply distance. And distance is information, a number. You then take the ingredients and you put them into a bowl. But you put the ingredients in at a certain ratio. A certain ratio of sugar to flour to salt. If you put them in at a different ratio, a different number pattern, you would get a completely different end product. It wouldn't be a cake anymore. It is the ratio, the number, the information that determines what you are making. If you alter the number, the information, you'll get something else entirely. You then take your ingredients and put them in the oven and set it to a certain temperature. Again, that's a number. A different temperature will give you a different result. You then leave the ingredients, which is ratio, in the oven baking at a certain temperature for a certain amount of time. Again, time is just information. It's another number. If you don't leave it in long enough, it won't be cooked, and too long it will burn. Again, time is just information, another number in the code of life that underlies the illusion of the physical world. At the end of the day, you're going to get a cake out of the oven because you manipulated these numbers in just the right way to produce the pattern that you wanted. If you altered the numbers by putting in a different ratio, baking it at a different temperature, or leaving it in for too long, you wouldn't get what you wanted. All of this would be impossible without the eternal governing laws of mathematics. You do not live in a physical reality. You live in a reality of information. You just don't realize it because your senses have not evolved to show you the truth of reality. Instead, they have evolved to give you the experience of the sweetness of sugar on your tongue. It's all in the math. Try to imagine our example of baking a cake. If this wasn't a mathematical reality, it would be impossible. There would be no conception of ratio, distance, time, measurement. All of these things necessarily rely on the underlying mathematical code, without which the universe would collapse. In truth, everything in reality is mathematical, and you yourself are a mathematical being. This is why you are able to experience information as sight, sounds, color, and touch. You, as a mathematical function, are taking in mathematical input from the objective world, and you are subjectively experiencing that as the world around you. The people of this world have gravely misunderstood what mathematics is due to how their senses have evolved. Mathematical information are not just pencil marks on a piece of paper. It is living, pulsing energy. Mathematical operations, like addition and subtraction, aren't just symbols you write down at school. They are waves of energy flowing into one another and creating living patterns. Reality is literally made of mathematics. Reality is math. You are a purely mathematical being, experiencing a purely mathematical universe. Remember that mathematics is alive. 1 plus 1 equals 2 is not about scratch marks on paper. That is what humans use to symbolize an ontological mathematical operation. These numbers on paper just represent or stand in for mathematical waves that have actual existence. What 1 plus 1 equals 2 actually is, is a wave with an amplitude of 1 combining and interacting with another wave of amplitude 1 to form a wave with an amplitude of 2. The people of this world 
hate mathematics because the truth of mathematics has been hidden from them so that they will remain unaware of the truth of reality and themselves. You have been lied to. You have been taught math like someone that has been taught that painting is all about painting fences, when in actuality it can be used to create beautiful masterpieces of expression. The laws of living mathematics guarantee that you are an eternal mind, a soul, a complex of energy that is part of one beautiful pattern called the universe. There is so much more to reality than what your limited senses are showing you. The answers to the biggest questions are waiting for you once you begin to understand what this place truly is. The answers don't lie in bullshit religious books or some god in the sky, and you don't need faith. The truth is in the math, it's in the logic, it's in the reason. This physical dimension, this world, is such a small part of what's going on. Now, If you're satisfied with this bullshit world of consumerism, empty Facebook memes, and celebrity gossip, then none of this will matter to you. And frankly, I don't want to have a thing to do with you. Really, you're part of the problem. But if you feel that internal sensation that there is so much more to reality, if you feel the hunger for true satisfaction and knowledge, then pay attention. Wake up. Look around you. See past the illusion and see the math. You are not a collection of dead, lifeless matter. You are a living mathematical entity, a mind, a soul, and you have an eternal destiny. Ad Astra to the stars. Make sure that you like and subscribe now, and make sure to check out my Patreon for many exclusive videos. And what this means in terms of energy is optimizing our internal energy patterns. We're trying to maximize our evolution. Now I want to say thank you to everyone over at Patreon. I'm really enjoying talking with you guys and being able to answer questions. It's been great. And your support is what makes these videos possible and for our movement to be a success. We are here to change the world and I thank you for your support.